What is good, Smooth Nation? I'm here to talk about Jujutsu Kaisen. Spoiler warning, by the way. The Jujutsu Kaisen manga is ending soon. I'm going to talk about my thoughts on the series and my idea for a scene. At first, I didn't really hear about Jujutsu Kaisen until back in 2021, when the pandemic was still a thing. That's when it got, that's when the anime showed up and got popular. Most animes, most manga don't really get popular until the anime pops off. And that's when this popped up. Which reminds me, the anime showed up a bit late. At that point in time, the manga was way, 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 uh, almost half over at that point. So the anime popped up late. And when, when season two came out, that's when it really blew up. Because of all the memes and stuff, and another arc was going on at the time. And then Mappa torturing its animes and all that stuff just helped boost the popularity. But... What would I do for a sequel? If I was running a show, I would say start off with a new cast of characters and in the same universe a different setting. Like Jujutsu Kaisen America, Jujutsu Kaisen England, some type of different country. But the whole premise of Jujutsu Kaisen is that it's sorcerers in modern times. It's been done before, but not in a shonen. I think like, this type of concept of sorcerers in modern times, it's been done many times in other forms of media, but for as far as uh, Shonen goes, actually no, that's not even true. It's, there was Blue Exorcist before that. Never mind. Now I would say because these characters have already been fleshed out, Yuji Itadori is literally just Ichigo. Uh, if, if Ichigo and Naruto had a love child together, it'd be Yuji Itadori. That's really all he ever is. His Yuji's domain expansion was super disappointing. It was lame, and I, I don't care what you say, it is lame. And Gojo's, Gojo was a nothing of a character. His whole character comes down to, I'm the strongest, I'm arrogant and stuff. And it, it his very presence just took away from the series. His presence just took away from the series. Nobora, Nobora was alright. I'm glad she's back, but we're not going to see much of her since... It's like we got four chapters left to go. And Megami. Megami is just potential, man. That's all he ever came down to. And then his body got snatched by uh, Sukuna. There's the whole story about him and his, his dad. But he he just thing. He doesn't realize that his dad was his dad. That that buff nigga who showed up to beat him up? You He didn't realize that was him. He didn't know that was his dad. And he's only finding out way later that that's his actual dad. Now, I'll admit, I'm a casual of the series. I watched the anime. I've never been super into the manga, though I keep my interest every now and then. Sometimes it just blows me. We're probably going to see Megami's domain expansion later. Although, I, I hope it's more entertaining than Yuji's. Yuji's domain is lame. And Nabora, Nabora, we never got to see her domain expansion because she was freaking dead and just came back. And Gojo, I'm glad died. I've made multiple videos on Gojo, why he doesn't work as a character. And his, he's a shallow character. The fan base, the Jujutsu Kaisen fan base fell apart because Mappa was more interested in just drawing pretty characters, just drawing nice looking characters. Not to give them Like, I can understand. To some extent, why people on why people bond over Toji? Because Toji is a better character than Gojo, in my opinion. He actually has depth, legitimate struggles. Gojo's whole struggle, because I'm the strongest, no one understands me and stuff. And then your your freaking boyfriend uh, betrayed you or whatever. That's not enough for me. Like start off with a new cast of characters in a different setting. We could have like how how about Age of I'm tired of the high school thing. And so many enemies now. How about start off with college kids, like prime youth, prime youth characters. You can have different abilities, like give a, a guy with weather powers and have them be the strongest. Oh, that's been done before. Yeah, but that makes more sense. That's something easier to write. 
Gege has said multiple times that he didn't like Gojo because it was hard to write and his very presence this lowers the tension. If you're gonna make a character super powerful, you have to give him some kind of weakness. Space manipulation is great. And by the way, let me, let me just go on to Gojo again. I've done this rant before, but I'll do it again. Gojo's a fake powerhouse, bro. He's a fake powerhouse. Gojo is built up as the strongest, but everything he does just comes out of the broken axe. It's like, that's not really how it's broken axe. Imagine if Doctor Strange dressed up as a whole and pretended to be at all. Gojo is essentially the equivalent of that. He's supposed to be this big epic powerhouse in the show, but he's not. He's just a hacker cheat type character. And that's why he really doesn't work as his powerhouse. It, it makes more sense if he builds him up as his hacker cheater. People call him out and be the hacker cheater. Stop validating this false impressionation of power. He's not a powerhouse. He's not. The Toji makes more sense as a powerhouse than Dojo. Potential Man Mega Man was a disappointment. All he did was get his ass kicked all throughout the series. And then was fawned over by Sukuna. Sukuna likes kids. Sukuna so obsessed with kids. I think my idea is to just start off with a new cast of characters. All these characters have been fleshed out. There's nothing really more we can do with them unless you have like a an extra epilogue. You can have an extra long epilogue where we show off the world's domain expansion. And then Megami me finds out about his dad, which isn't gonna do much because his dad is dead. You kinda of blew your load too early by having Toji die so fast. You blew your load too early. I say just start off with a new cast of characters in a different country, different setting. Same for Digital Cast Universe, it's gonna have to be a prequel, have to be a sequel, a mid cool, whatever. These characters have already been fleshed out. Yuji Ito, I don't get why fans obsessed with Yuji Tidori. Yuji Tidori's power is the point. He boxes you up, his domain expansion is talking to you, and I guess, oh, well, he has all power with that domain. Okay, well, that's just not specific. If your real domain expansion is just, I create a universe where I can control everything, that sounds more like a Gojo ability, Yuji. It just, it, like I said, I talked about Yuji's domain expansion while I was disappointing. It, it just lame to me. It's just, it just lame to me. And the board does. And Naboro's back if you don't get to see much. Her power with the, the hammer and the nails. Oh, she attacks the soul. It's like, you realize how impractical that is? First, you have to channel your energy into these nails. Then you have to throw them in the air. Then you have to hit them with the hammer. Then it has to hit the target. You realize that that's just so impractical. And, and for real fighting, you wonder, it's like, bruh. Bro, well, that's just so impractical. I always thought that was dumb. Even when watching anime, I just thought that was dumb. I say just start off with a new cast of characters. I always say it. Start off with new cast of characters. This is all wrapped up. This is all done. Have a new powerhouse character that can like, control the weather, control ice, or something like that. And you can make his weakness that he's older. That he's getting up there in age. Like in his 50s or 60s. And he's getting up there in age. It that way, it make it more believable when he finally goes down. So like that. Have Gojo's weakness that he's just getting up there in age. That would have made more sense. Gojo's power. In fact, in fact it, let's say you keep Gojo's power. Like, why didn't? If you're gonna have a guy who can control space, why not have another guy who can control time? That be the his weakness. Like, oh, you control space, I control time. Their powers perfectly counter each other. In fact, you can make a whole arc around that. Like, have an artificial... Uh, have, a, have, like, an artificial clone of Joe Gojo with different powers and stuff. That, that's why Gojo is such a disappointment to me. I'd say start off with a new cast of characters, different country. That's all I gotta say. So, what do you guys think below? Smooth Nation, you are dismissed.